Welcome to our next installment of the Computer Literacy Lab for this week. In this lab uh, little video we are going to teach you how to make an animated GIF. An animated GIF it's sometimes called, usually animated GIF. Animated GIF is when you go to a web page and you have a little animation, a little graphic that animates through a few different pictures and it looks like it's moving. Well we're going to build a little simple one of that. Ours is just going to be some text that scrolls through here is the actual what it's going to look like it's just going to say this is computer literacy so this is computer literacy and you can put whatever text you want on there that's the one I'm using for this I'm going to close that and I'm going to start it from scratch alright so first thing you're going to do first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the file new and we're going to create a new image in in uh, GIMP. Uh, we're not going to use a template. We're going to change the width to 300, the height to 50, and it's about the size of a banner ad we're going to make, like that size I just showed you. Hit OK, and that gives you a canvas. This is the canvas we're going to use to be able to draw on, draw, put our text on. If you notice over here now in my Layers tab, I have a single layer, which is called Background, and that's the layer that we can currently see here in the image. Now I'm going to need for each one of those words, the four words that are going to that are going to animate. I'm going to need four Im, uh, four layers to place those four words on. So if you don't have your layers tab open, go to this little arrow right here, click on this arrow, go add tab, and click on layers, and that will give you this tab that I have here that's open. The other one I have here is a, a tools which we're going to use here in a second when we go to text, but for now we're going to go to the layers and we're going to put three more layers. We're going to copy this layer three more times. This little button down here creates a duplicate layer. One, two, three. Now we have our four layers. Each one of these is going to hold one of the words uh, that we're going to animate through. So now I'm ready to start putting some words on there. So I'm going to go to the text, text box here that allows me to type text click on the tools tab and from the tools tab I'm going to use Times New Roman Bold which is, happens to be the one I already have here I'm going to change the size to about 35 so that's what I'm using Times New Roman Bold and 35 it depends on what you're doing black color is what I'm going to use if you have a different color background if you have different color text you can change it all right in here I'm going to go back to my layers tab now click on the bottom layer I still have the text selected. I'm going to go into and click on it. When I click on it, it gives me my text editor, and I'm going to type in this. I'm going to make it all cap, this, and close. So now there it is, but you can't actually see it. And the reason you can't actually see it is because it's between this layer and this layer. If you think of all these as a piece of paper and this is a book, and this is going to end up like a flip book where you flip through the pages and the little animations going. Well, we can't see this layer of text here because all these layers are on top of it. So if I go to the eyeball here and turn them off, then it will show up. So I'm going to click on my, and I'm going to go ahead and turn off the other one, the background one. Well, actually, I won't yet. I'll show you why. So then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to move it to center it where I want it in my image. So to move it, there's a move tool here move tool, I'm going to select on my move tool, I'm going to grab that text and I'm going to move it up. Now if, by accident if you grab the background and move the background out as you see you're going to mess things up. So if you, if you accidentally did that you can hold down, you can go to edit, undo move or if you see here it's also control Z. Control Z lets you back up and, and correct any mistakes you did. So I'll put that back. Then I'm ready for my next text so I'm going to go on the next layer here, go to text, and I am from this layer here, i got to turn it on, from this layer I'm going to then type in is, close, turn off all the other layers, so I only have the one I want selected, so I don't accidentally grab the wrong layer, grab it, move it up to where I think it's about centered, I can now turn on the this and compare the two together and I'm pretty close there so I'm just going to leave it there turn off this one, turn on the next one 
go to the text, click in here and put, whoops, control Z, see there's an example. I want to, I turned on this one but I wasn't on that layer, I was typing on the same layer I was on before. And I don't want that. So that layer is okay now. I'm going to go back into this layer, select the proper layer. So I had to hit Control Z there and back up because I made a little bit of a mistake. I don't do that often, but even I make mistakes. Computer, put it on there, turn off the background, grab the move tool, grab it, grab it. Move it up to the middle there. Compare it with this again. It's a little high. Move it down a bit. Turn this on again and it looks fine now. Turn that one off. Select the next one. Turn it on. And type in literacy. That's literate. Literate. Spell it right. Literacy. Turn off the background layer. Grab the move tool. Move it up. Let it go. So now I've got uh, all my layers here. I'm going to turn them all back on now. The only one you can see is the first one. Turn them all back on. If you go to filters, in the pull down menu, animation, playback, gives you this window here, hit the play, and it scrolls through extremely fast. And I don't want it that fast, so I'm going to slow it down. But there's the animation. Close that. Now I'm going to go back into each layer of my text here, right click on it, go up to Ed Layer Attributes next to the layer attribute, next to the name of the layer here, in layer name, I'm going to type in 1ms, 1000ms, which is 1000 milliseconds. It's telling this to pause for 1000 milliseconds, which is equivalent to one second. So it's telling it to pause for one second. I will do that on each one of these layers. Right click, add layer, add layer attributes, 123ms, Next one, right click, edit layer attributes, one, two, three, MS. And on the last one, just to show you the difference, I'm going to put in three, three thousand MS, which is three thousand milliseconds. Now that I have those in there, I go back to full, excuse me, filters, animation, playback. This time when I play it back, in my little playback window here, it pauses for one millisecond, and then the last one pauses for three, and then it starts scrolling through them again for one second. So now I'm finished with it. Now all you have to do is save it, file, save as, and you give it a name, CS150. GIF, I'll call this. CS150 GIF is what I'm going to call it. And I'm just going to save it right here. But if you need to, you can browse for other folders. I have it set up for a, a 150 folder that I have here. And now this is the other little part you have to make sure you do right. Selected file type here. Click on that. And then you select, scroll down, and you select GIF image. That'll save it as a GIF. When the little pop-up window pops up here, you don't want to flatten it. Make sure you save it as an animation. Save it as an animation. Hit export. And then just hit save on this window. It is now saved as an animated GIF. I can go back in and play it. The next one will do another little squiggly line animation. I'll show you another example. But that is it for now.